Hey guys, just uh, going to do a short video on my Hursty's theme script. Um, my good friend David Marty's uh, made some enhancements to it for me uh, due to the number of themes I've been making lately. Um, as of recording this video, my theme count is for Emulation Station is 508, which is a little bit insane. But there's a lot of those sort of sweet and cool, and now these these spin ones like you, you see on the screen here. Um, these spin ones I've made 77, uh, but I'm about to make a few more of those to take my total theme count to 550. But anyway, that's not why we're here. I just wanted to show you my, my theme installer script if you haven't um, seen it and what the changes are. I've got another video on my, my channel which I'll post a link to so if you haven't installed this um, theme installer script before and you want to uh, follow that one. In this video we're just going to show um, how to update it and what the changes are. So after you've installed this, the script obviously um, it's located in the options menu uh, and it's called Hursty's Themes. So this is what it currently looks like when you when you open it. Okay, so the very first option is to, to update the script. So if I make changes or add new themes uh, to my list, um, if you do that, you'll get the new list. Whereas if I release a theme on the Retro, RetroPie theme installer, I have to wait for those devs to update the list, which could take a week, 10 days. Um, but also, I haven't included all these mini, sweet, and cool, and spin themes on that because the RetroPie guys have said it's too many. Um, in saying that, they have contacted me and said they're actually reviewing um, the theme installer script in Emulation Station, and I think they're going to group it by author. So that way there'll be just a list of authors, and then you'll go into, say, Retro Hersey 69 if you wanted mine, and then you'd see on mine. So anyway, that's, that's a, a side note. First option is to update, which we'll do in a minute. Um, and then we've got the Enable and Disable Theme Randomizer. If you don't know what that is, it means every time you boot your Pi, it will just randomly pick any of the themes you've got installed on your Pi. Um, and I think that works well, especially if you've installed a lot of these uh, group ones that I've done. Yeah, I mean, you, you could have 50 themes on your Pi and every time you boot up, it's just random and just a little bit fresh every time you use it. Um, then under that we've just got all of my themes. Now the way the list currently looks, excuse me, uh, I've got all the sweet themes at the top and I think there's over 200 of those. So just get through those. Whoops. And then after the, the sweet ones, then we get into just the the normal sort of themes and, and all of these normal ones from about 240 onwards are on RetroPie um, theme menu. I think there's 67 or something of those. Then after that we get into these cool ones. Now the cool ones um, you would have seen in my previous videos. I think there's 120 of those. And my latest batch or idea I came up with was this spin uh, ones which uh, has a curved carousel and uh, the first one there is uh, the Batman okay so you'd obviously click on that and install it the spin ones and the um, cool ones are actually anywhere from about 20 to 30 megabytes each the sweet ones I think I can't remember the size but they're a little bit bigger so um, if you want to install a heap of them, it takes up a little bit of space, but the, these 20 or 30 meg ones aren't too bad. Um, well, that says 498, but actually, oh, it hasn't got the last 10. I haven't updated the script, but that's okay. All right, so let's go right up to the top. So as of now, recording this video, if you update the um, Hursty's theme script, it will look considerably different and a little bit um, better user experience. Yeah, so let's get right at the top. It is ridiculous, this amount of themes, but anyway. All right, so we're actually going to update the script. It shouldn't take too long. It boots you out, and then you've got to go back in. So we'll go back in. 
once I hit the right button. And my theme store now looks a lot more organized. We still, the first option is still the update. So you can update the script. Again, if I add more themes, that's how you get the refreshed list. Um, you've still got the enable and disable theme randomizer. But what David's done for me, um, we sort of come up with this idea together, is we've grouped all the mini suite or the suite themes together, all the cool themes and the spin themes. Oh, actually, let's just pick the, the spin ones. If we go into there, I think there should be about 77 of these. Soon to be about, oh, probably 100, about 120. Uh, you can see that last one, it says update or uninstall. That's because I've actually installed the Zelda spin one. So you know how to install themes. You install or uninstall from there. If we go back to the menu, um, mini suites the same. There's 200 odd of those. We won't scroll all the way through that. So we've got three sort of grouped ones, I suppose, mini, cool, and spin. So they're those ones where they're all uh, unified, but just a little bit of a different character or a focus on a game or a movie or a character, um, etc. The This group here, the 16 by 9, so that's just all the, I call them normal themes, but where I first started with Back to Basics and Cap Snazzy and Card Crazy and, and all those. So... Um, these are the ones that are currently available in Emulation Station theme download as well. But it says 16 by 9 there, so they're all designed for 16 by 9. Now the reason I've broken out the next one, this 5 by 4, is, um, yeah, these people modding arcade one-up machines, etc. The monitors on those are 5 by 4, so I only have three of those. Um, but I've, I've, up, I've done one for Arcade 1UP, it's own special one. There's a Hey Chromie and Super Sweet. They both have versions which are suited to 5x4 monitors. Which um, you may find useful. You don't have to have a 1UP Arcade to do that. You might just have a monitor that's 5x4 and not 16x9. I haven't tested them on 4x3 screens. I don't have a 4x3 so I couldn't tell you how they go. Um, and then I've actually got a vertical section as well now, but there's only two themes inside there. I made one quite a while ago, which was Vertical Arcade, which is just arcade. It has MAME, Arcade, uh, Capcom, and um, SNK, and um, Nintendo, Sega, Classic. So just arcade focus. But this one I've done recently, it's called Vertical Limit, which is a vertical theme. But it covers 300 systems and collections, so pretty much everything going at the moment of recording this video for both Odroid um, and RetroPie, all the weird systems and a stack of collections in there as well. Alright, so if you update the script, um, should be a little bit um, easy now. Rather than scrolling to a list of over 500, it's a bit more organised and easier to manage. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. Um, if you have any trouble installing the script, post on the YouTube video and I'll probably have to ask David what the problem is because I'm not a tech guy but yeah if you haven't um, got onto um, the spin themes check them out they're my latest one with the curved carousel um, obviously that's Crash Bandicoot let's have a quick look at another one just while we're here Donkey Kong spin again looks the exact same but Donkey Kong yeah I think that's pretty cool but there's, I just make these for something to do and Everyone's got different tastes. Some people will hate this. Some people will love it. Some people will want something different or don't like blue carbon. But anyway, that's where it is. Anyway, guys, we'll cut it off there. So, yeah, hopefully um, that makes the theme um, script just a little bit uh, easier to manage. Thanks, guys. Catch you later. See ya.